All right, it is September 20th, it's our team call. Hopefully more people hop on as we go. Um, but I'm really excited about tonight because we have one of my dear friends speaking to us. Um, and it's gonna be a really good call. She actually spoke to us, it's weird, I was looking through to see when you last talked to our team and it literally was about a year ago, I'm pretty sure. A little over a year ago. And I feel like it wasn't that long ago. Um, but it's just crazy because every single time I do one of these calls and I invite a guest speaker back, I always kind of look back at what they talked about last time and the impact that they had on the team. And um, I searched in our team page and I just remember the takeaways from your call last time were just phenomenal. And people got so much out of it. And I just was like, we got to get her back because this is the end of the year, quarter four, starting next Thursday. And I know for a fact that Janelle is the perfect person to help you get in the right mindset to go into the end of the year. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but before we get to that, does anybody have anybody they want to shout out for anything or any recognition? I'm bleeding. I do. Go. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm like driving. Um, I'm in my house. So I just pulled in. I'm stopped. Okay. Oh, I just want to shout out our new coach. Mindy, she just joined this week. She's been working real hard. I don't think she's on. Um, but yeah, she is excited to get going. So, so are we. Yay. Welcome, Mindy. If you watch the recording, we're excited that you're here. Um, yeah, it's just our team is, I, I feel like after the Diamond Retreat, I feel like our team has definitely gotten a lot more interest. So it's really exciting. So welcome to the team. Um, I feel like I had housekeeping things to say, but you guys know, like, I just kind of forget. Um, I do know that the first thing is, so I don't know if you guys have tried the Clean Week uh, sneak peek, but that's going to be up until it's released. So it's not like it was like a one day thing and going down. So I don't know why I'm bleeding on my head. That's just like the weirdest thing. Um, but Clean Week sneak peek is staying up. And this is something that is, I'm actually really excited about um, because it's literally going to be such a game changer for us if you use it correctly, put it that way. Um, it's not gonna be one of those things where it's like, hey, like join my clean week. Well, this is like a great way, like if you're strategic about this, you can really propel in people, like way more customers than you're probably bringing in right now. So keep that in the back of your mind. Um, I'm looking at it more as like a prep week to my prep week, if that makes sense. It's like getting them their stuff, getting them to at least see what Beachbody's about, taste Shakeology, give them the resources, and then when they love it, upgrade them for a year. That's where my head's at, and I just feel like that's going to keep us with lifers because they're going to fall in love with Shakeology. They're going to find their flavor. They're going to be super excited about it, and I don't know. I'm, just, I'm really, really excited about that. So um, keep on the radar. Um, check the FAQs for more information on it. Um, but it's going to be good. Um, we have double time coming out next month. So, no, no, November, sorry. I'm like way ahead of myself. This is why I need notes. Um, double time coming out soon, though. So if you guys are in the market of people with kids or you are about to have a child or going to be having a child soon, I know that you're on here or you have kids already, make sure that you guys are um, – this is like a really great thing for you guys to start marketing, honestly. That's like your – even though it might not seem like your kind of program, um, it's your people. <laughs> so definitely think about that. Um, but I think that's all I really have. I really wanted to get, do announcement wise, but I'm going to uh, introduce Janelle. So Janelle is lifetime one star diamond. She's a successful five legend. And honestly, like I love giving out the, uh, the diamond and the star diamond shout outs. But to me, I think that legend is like by far the most amazing thing that somebody can accomplish. Um, and the reason I say that, that means that she's hit Success Club 5 at a minimum for 24 months in a row. Um, so that, what that says is that she's doing her job correctly, that she's helping people every single month. And I say this every single time I announce somebody for it, but like, that's a goal that I, that I literally set my mind to from day one. It's like, if I can get that award, that means I'm doing something right. So I do want to shout you out for that. I know that you were being a little hard on yourself in regard to your rank, um, but don't be because honestly, it's those small things that really are what matters the most. So um, I'm not going to take any more of your time because I know that you probably have a lot to say. So thank you so much for being on here and take it away. Hi, thanks for having me on. Um, 
it has been literally like the craziest month, last couple of months, a year for me. Um, and I was just talking to Kelsey earlier and I was like, I'm a shiny emerald. So I wanted to share that with you guys because what I wanted to talk about today is basically how to lean into love and gratitude and a positive perspective through the lessons of life. And this rank change for me, if this was me handling this like a year ago, it, it would have been the end of the world. Right now, because I dropped to Emerald, I'm like, fuck yes, this is like a fresh start. Like that's how I'm looking at it. I'm literally just flipping my perspective at this point. And it's a very easy change, but it's something that I had to learn to step back and flip that perspective and that gratitude switch and find the love in this lesson. So um, I just like, I usually don't have notes, but I, I know that Kelsey said it, it was a year ago. It really doesn't feel like a year ago that I spoke on your call. It seems like it was like, I feel like I was living here. I don't know. So it seems like I, I've talked to you guys about this before and gratitude and love and everything, but I wanted to take it like just real deep. Like this is, I said to Kelsey, I was like, I'm just going to keep it real, real because this year has literally been the hardest year of my entire life in general as a human being and with my business. And honestly, what I've been doing at this point is doing personal development and finding things to lift me up and find that positive perspective and that lean into the gratitude and love of life. And how I've been doing that, you guys, is taking care of me first. So first and foremost, every single day, shit's gonna happen, okay? so. Obviously, you guys know that you're human beings. Like, life can be challenging, okay? We're all presented with challenges and obstacles and hiccups in the road. Sometimes it's like this. Like, you'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's like effing awesome. You're really, really high. And then, like, boom, like, you get the wind knocked out of your sails. And then you're effing low again. And you're like, God, I just can't catch a break. When it rains, it pours, right? Like, <sighs> so how we flip that perspective to the positive when we feel like it's pouring. Honestly, that's how I felt the last like year of my world. And so for those of you guys that don't know, I didn't even think about like sharing my story. Hopefully you guys like know who, my, who I am. Like I've lost 70 pounds with Beachbody. Like before Beachbody, I was like depressed, binge eating, binge drinking. I just like jumped into it. I assumed you guys knew who I was. So um, if you didn't like, I was a hot mess before Beachbody, and I was living in Massachusetts, um, and I've been coaching for three years at this point. I picked up my entire world. My whole family is back in Massachusetts, and I'm moving, and I've lived in North Carolina in this loft that I stocked on Craigslist and envisioned and believed and came into my world, okay? So I picked up my whole life to move down here, and this year, the universe because I've been doing all this head and this heart work, and because I've been saying, I'm ready for all these lessons, I'm surrendering. I've been doing a lot, like I said, I've been doing PD. When these lessons come at me, I'm doing PD. How can I handle the hard shit in life better? That's our job, you guys, essentially. Like, this isn't about Shakeology and a workout program. This is about allowing people and empowering people to recognize that we're in control and we have a choice. Every single situation, challenge or obstacle that comes at us. And that's what I really wanted to dive into because it's so, so important that we present that choice to people. Like so many people think they have to stay stuck and it's like, we have a choice. Every single situation, circumstance, obstacle, human being that comes at you during the day, you have a choice. You have a choice to either Choose love, hope, joy, abundance, patience, kindness, all those words that make you feel like light and fluffy and like really good, right? Or you have the opportunity to react in a negative, nasty, unhealthy, depressed, anxious, terrible, awful manner. Those words just feel icky. Like just saying those words, they like don't sound light and fluffy like joy and abundance. Like those words make you want to skip around and frolic in a field. Okay. So when we start showing up for the lessons in life, 
and those challenges and those obstacles through love in a positive perspective and gratitude, you're going to start feeling better every time that you choose love. Because every time you choose love, the universe is going to go, oh, look at her work. Look at her go. She's putting this love out there. You give love to receive love, right? So she's putting that love out there. If you're leaning into that love and that abundance and that joy constantly, it's going to become that habit. So honestly, this has been probably a, a year and a half at this point that I really have been gratituding and like leaning into love. This past year, I've mainly been doing a lot of love work and giving love and recognizing that I have love inside of myself and I am the power. So previously when I've been on calls with you guys, I've shared that I really started this head and heart work in leaning into love through the power and the secret. And so the power is love and the secret is the law of attraction, which Right, awesome books. And I honestly listen to them on audiobook, you guys. When I wake up in the morning, I roll over with my phone on airplane mode and I put on the power of the secret. I've probably heard them a hundred times. And that's the cool part about it is that I'll hear something new or hear something that I need to hear like at the right time. And you're like, oh my God, isn't that weird how that happens? And it's like, no, it's not because it's synchronicity because the universe knows at this point. So this year, I've really been learning to lean into love and the just like the guidance of the universe with the lessons and everything that I've learned through the power and the secret and just the law of attraction and gratituding and with love. And so this year I've been implementing, I know Kelsey has read it, is the universe has your back. So again, I wouldn't be doing any of this head and heart work, you guys, if I hadn't started with my 30 minute workout in Shakeology, okay? So if you're like thinking of ways that you can share your workout and like, you're like, oh, I'm so sick of sharing it this way. Like, guess what? Here's a way that you can share it that for me, I've been sharing um, how I'm getting through the hard shit in life. Even though it's the head and the heart work, I wouldn't have started to learn how to do the head and the heart work or even care or be mindful about the head and the heart work if I didn't start the 30 minute workout. Coming, way, coming back around to doing me. So this all starts with doing you. Like, it's literally like, oh my God, weird. That's like a full circle thing. So it all starts when we make the decision. Again, oh my God, there's that choice. We have that choice. You get to choose the positive. For me, when I was 25, I chose to stop binge eating, binge drinking, feeling like shit, not having self-love, self-worth, confidence, and settling. I made the decision. For three years, I've made that choice to the best of my ability every single day. And that's not to say that every day is going to be like glittery unicorns and rainbows, okay? So every day, you're going to be presented with opportunities and challenges throughout that day. So same thing with like... No, that's another way to do it out. Yeah, join them. Get it, Kelsey. Get them. <laughs> Awesome, thanks. Um, same thing with like beach body, you guys. Like every situation in beach body, you're presented with an opportunity. I easily could have chosen a negative reaction or response when I lost my rank. You know, I'm no longer a success club all star legend. I missed success club in July. And I'm like, big effing deal. What's the lesson here? You know, I learn the lesson, I take it, I let it go, and I move on, and I I level up and I do better. So it's like, again, we all have that choice. How do you choose to respond to these situations? So how do you choose love over fear, faith over fear, hope over fear, all of these good words over fear, doubt, being scared. We all have those like, what if I fail? What if I F up? Like, what if I drop rain? Oh my God, like big effing deal. Like, what if we all have that bullshit story or those limiting beliefs that we have in our head that we have to work through? And that's what I've been working through this year. And that's why I, like, have totally put it out into, like, my team page. I got to put it out into, like, Facebook land. I haven't, like, nutted up and done that yet. But it's, like, my business hasn't moved. Like, I'm, oh, I was a one-star because of Craig. 
And it's like, but my team has basically stayed the same size. And I flat out know that's because I couldn't grow my business until I took care of me and grew into the best human being that I could be. Because I wasn't attracting, like, the Janelle I was in January when I moved here, I don't want to be attracting that Janelle right now because the Janelle I was in January is not the Janelle that I am now. You know why? Because I'm choosing to lean into love and that positivity and that gratitude for where I am, even if it effing sucks and it hurts and it's painful and it's hard, or you feel like you're in defeat. You know why? Because I know at the end of the day, every time that I choose love, again, the universe is going to go, look at her effing trying, putting that love out there. And like I said to Haley the other day, I said, Lord, I'm just giving all that love. I'm giving love, giving love, giving love. And I said, sometimes I just feel like it's not coming back to me quick enough. And it's like, Lord, do we ever feel like that? Do you ever feel like you're just doing everything that you can possibly do to like in your business? And you're like, I'm shouting this from the rooftops and nobody's effing listening to me. Sometimes that's how it is. And what you have to continue to do is to continue to choose to keep going and lean into that love because I'm assuming everybody on this call knows what it feels like to feel like shit. Plain and simple. When you're not eating right, when you're not showing up, doing you, doing what you know you need to be doing, when you're not eating the right foods, when you're not getting enough sleep, when you're not drinking enough water, when you're surrounding yourself with toxic, negative human beings, you know you're not doing the right thing and you know you're going to not feel your best, right? So it's like, what do you do to choose love and to lean in? You do you. Because when you do you, you know you're going to feel good. Like, we know what feels good for us. Like, what's going to lift us up? What's going to bring us joy? What's going to light us up? And too many people, I'm getting all jacked up over here. And too many people, when, like, do we have any kids on the call? I hope not. When too many people, like, bitch out when life gets hard, like, and they're like, I'm going to take a break from the business. Like, I'm going to stop working out. I'm going to go eat all the Pizza Hut. Like, I'm not going to PD. And it's like, why? Why would you walk away from the thing that changed your life and that has allowed you to learn what feels good for you? Like, I literally have just, like, f- like flat out called people on it lately. Like, I'm so effing sick of people, like, just pussing out. Like, I'm sorry. Like, life is hard. Like, you know what's hard? Staying stuck. Feeling like shit. Waking up every single effing day. Like, that's hard. Wondering where you're going to get rent from in 10 days. Okay? current reality. That's hard. I don't want to do that. I don't want people to feel that way. So what do I do? I choose to do the work, to lean into love, to lean into me and taking care of me because that's going to allow me to be the best me that I can possibly be. So what does that mean doing you, you guys? You know what the F that means. Okay. Like by choosing love, And choosing you, like, those are, like, the same exact thing. You guys, like, realize that, right? Like, you are love. And if you're like, what does that mean? Like, you have love inside of you. You have energy inside of you. You're radiating at a certain vibration. So if you're walking around fueling up with the wrong foods, not doing your workouts, surrounding yourself with the wrong human beings, that love is probably going to be real dim. When you're doing the things that fill you up, like working out, rocking your PD, whether it's an audio book or your list or reading something, gratitude journaling, doing your workouts, showing up in your groups, being accountable for yourself and putting that out there that you're making that effort. And again, it's not always going to be rainbows and unicorns and glittery like goodness. And I can tell you guys for me... (sighs) My highs have been wicked high the last year and wicked effing low. Like, so low that, like, sometimes I'm like, why? Like, why am I here? Why am I doing all this? Like, 
you just feel like giving up. Like you guys, I'm three years into this business and I'm an emerald. That easily could be like, there's my choice. You know what I mean? Like I'm presented with that opportunity. So what I wanted you guys to really um, take away from this is that in the last year, even though my business hasn't grown, that doesn't mean I'm not hitting my goals, okay? So I've still been hitting Success Club all year long. I missed Success Club one month, and I know why I missed Success Club, because I got burnt out, because I banged it out the month before, and then I got exhausted, and I took my foot off the gas. And it's like, again, what's the lesson there? I could have had, there was, again, a choice. <laughs> and I remember saying, when I first started as a coach, I literally remember saying these words. And I think we all have said something like this before. I remember saying, if I ever miss Success Club, I will never forgive myself. Like, I literally remember saying those words out loud. I was like, I will be sick to my stomach. I will never forgive myself. And you know what? When I missed Success Club, I didn't even cry, you guys. Because I, like, I already had accepted it and was past it and was like, let's go. Like, how am I going to adjust my sales and make that choice to continue to learn from this and lean into love and whatever that positive perspective flip of that was. So again, because I, um, like I haven't advanced my business, that doesn't mean that I'm not hitting my goals. That means I'm still showing up on social media and I'm leaning in. I'm not being that person that's like, Oh, life is so hard. Like I'm going to exit beach body and everything that allowed me to change my world. Like, you guys, I easily could have done that. Do you know how many times I wanted to sit here with <laughs> a pint of queso dip in my lap, okay? Like a bag of donuts. Like I'm a binge eater. I eat my emotions. And Lord, let me tell you, it's the food in the South, like a foodie nightmare for me because all I want is all of the cheese and all of the bread down here. And guess what? There have places that are like open till 2 a.m. that have that stuff. So it's very easy for me to go to the past, to that old story, to that bullshit self-limiting belief story of me settling, reverting back to those old habits, or choosing to lean into the love of the new habits. And so honestly, you guys, oh my God, I just threw my phone in my notes. <laughs> so excited. Um, honestly, you guys, how I've been growing my business over the last year is sharing how I've gotten through this hard stuff and these pain points using love and learning to use love through Beachbody with my workouts, with my shape, with this community, with this support, okay? Like the pain points are so important because we have to remind people life is gonna be hard sometimes. Um, Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. I literally just like huge exhale. It's like, I so appreciate that because it can be so easy. Like, I'll tell you guys, I've had moments when I've been on literally curled up in a fetal position, crying my heart out on my kitchen floor going, what are my other options if I can't make this coaching thing work? And it's like, it's, it hurts sometimes even saying that out loud. You're like, shit, I can't even believe I thought that. And it's like, it's hard, but we have to let people know it's okay to feel your feelings. We are feeling beings, you guys. We're meant to feel our feelings. So when people are like bottling that crap up and they're like, I'm not going to cry. Like, I'm not going to, like, when I was like feeling angry the last week, like, I knew it wouldn't be good to hold it in, but it's like, obviously I'm not going to go like beat the shit out of somebody, but it's like, you have to find outlets to let these emotions out and let this pain out. So what I've been doing, you guys, is literally sharing the real raw, ugh, heart aching stuff on Facebook. And let me tell you, do people relate to that, you guys, because that is life. Heartache is going to happen. Loss, death, hurt, people quitting, your business crumbling. Being an entrepreneur is hard. Things are going to be hard. It's going to hurt. But that's the universe going, 
How bad do you want it? How effing bad do you want it? And how are you going to choose to continue to lean into that love to do you to continue to show up? Because too many people, that's honestly the difference between success and failure, you guys, is making that choice every single day to show up even when you're not seeing the results, even when you miss your goals, even when you drop rank, even when this happens and that happens. I still show up to the best of my ability to lean into love, to lean into that positive perspective and do me in all aspects. Head, heart, body, business, soul. That's what, like, my motto is lately. Like, I'm just doing it all. Like, because I want people to know that if they're feeling some sort of way that hurts and feels like they're in pain, whether that be with their food, their fitness, their relationships, their job, you guys, recognize that beach body. Wow, beach body. I don't know what happened. It's one word, you know. <laughs> um, recognize that beach body has an opportunity to help people catapult their life into their best life. Not just like get a six pack abs. You guys, we have the opportunity to let people like recognize that they can have their dream life. Like all of it, head, heart, bod, fitness, soul. If you're unhappy with this, do you need a workout? If you're unhappy with this, Here's, you know what I mean? There's Shakeology. If you can't figure out your food, here's a shake. If you can't figure out this, here's a meal plan. If you need support, here's a challenge group. Beach body. I don't know what is wrong with me. I think I'm, I'm crashing. I'm crashing. I got up early today. This is my first day of leveling up, and it, it was been a challenging day. Um, people need to recognize that beach body can catapult them into their dream life, you guys. And how they're going to recognize that is by you showing up and being that example to lean in to this business and how it's changed your entire life in all aspects. How has Beachbody changed your food? How has Beachbody changed your fitness? How has Beachbody changed your mental health, your heart health, your relationships, your communication, your patience, your kindness, like your gratitude? Like how has this opportunity allowed you to do more to be the best effing version of yourself every single effing day like in just like even the last week and day like shit's already changed for me you guys like i'm constantly as every single situation or opportunity or human being is coming at me i'm taking a step back to change my perspective and going what's the lesson here how can I respond to this in a loving, kind, patient, abundant, good manner? Because if you're going to be like, and honestly, you guys, it's been super hard when you're low. Obviously, it's so hard to get in your messages when everybody's like, hey, how are you? And you're like, um, I feel like effing shit. How are you? Like, that's my response. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to lie to somebody and be like, hey, it's going really well when I just had my heart ripped out. You know what I mean? So what I do. I don't answer my messages and I let people know, yo, I see your message. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just like not really in a good headspace to respond right now. Like I'll totally get back to you. Like, so what I've been doing is my front end work. Okay. I'm connecting with people through my posts. I'm sharing the pain points. I'm being consistent and <laughs> thanks dude. I don't think I could be anything else but honest if I tried. So it's like, I'm sharing all of the hard stuff on the front end. You guys, with my post, um, and like I said, even in the last couple of days, how can I level up? How can I dig deeper? And my girl, Haley, I know you guys know Haley Christian. Like, man, is she leveling the F up, and is she fueling my fire? Like, I think you guys also know my girl, Candice. It's like, those are my best friends, okay? And it's like, fuel my fire. Fuel my fire. Because every time I see them, and even Kelsey, like, we have so many badass women to look up to in, like, this DTC, like, dream core, like, group of amazing human beings, like, that it fuels my fire to level up and take a step back and go, how can I respond to this? And how can I make changes to do more to be my best me faster, sooner, 
to reach my dreams and my goals quicker. So you know what I'm doing? It's like, how the F can I get my diamond back, my one star back? It's like, level up, bitch. Like, do more. Talk to more people. Like, that's it. If you guys are like, yeah, I'm kind of in success club. Like, I'm not doing this. Like, I haven't reached that. It's like, guess what? Do more. That's it. Plain and simple. Have more conversations. Have more quality conversations, okay? If you're just like, okay, cool, nice cat sweater. Like, and then that's how the conversation ends. It's like, like, come on. You guys know when you're going to have, like, a conversation with somebody. Like, don't just, like, click and add and, like, don't post with intent. Like, you have to show up with intention to change somebody's life again because it's your opportunity every single day to wake up and give love that's your job your job is to love and how you love as much as possible every single day is to do you then you're like oh my god that how does that make sense like that sounds selfish doesn't it like how you love the world is by doing you like again it doesn't make sense, but it really does because if you're not taking care of you to feel and live your best, how are you going to take care of the world as a coach, as a mother, as a leader, as a daughter, as a sister, as, you know, whoever you are, you have to feel and be in your best. Again, if you're like, how do I do this every single day? This isn't like a, like, a perfect thing. This is a practice thing moment to effing moment you guys like I'm telling you the last like month for me has literally been so like I got this I'm so good I'm good I'm good and then the next second I'm literally sobbing with like snots running down my face like that's what being a human is you guys that's what healing is that's what hurt is that's what loss that's what pain that's what obstacles are things are gonna come at you and it's gonna hurt but you have a choice to continue moving on and to feel those feelings and to not let that bullshit or those feelings make you stay stuck. That's your choice to not stay stuck and to choose love. And that's our job to choose love by choosing to lace up, to do our 30 minute workouts, to do our shake, to do the accountability, to check into our groups, AKA like the vital behaviors, you guys like, showing up for you and sharing that on social media, how can that change somebody's life? Again, Beachbody is this amazing like bundle of goodness that can offer people so many options. Are you struggling with your, your career? Are you struggling with your food, your fitness, your mental health, your emotional health, your relationships, your confidence? Like Beachbody is a life changer. This isn't like a fitness thing. This is like a life thing. Anybody can lose weight and get a six pack. But if you're walking around living in this, I can't, I'm not like, woe is me, like victim mentality. It's going to be really hard to lean into that love because you're not like doing this work. You guys, I can't stress how important it is for you guys to be per doing personal development and having some type of affirmation that you like rock and having a vision board. I know that was just like multiple things of doing like a vision board and affirmations and like whatever else I can't remember. Oh, PD. It's, it sounds like a lot, but what those like in gratitude, I would say like that's like the ultimate bundle to lean into love is having a vision board, having like an affir affirmation. Um, gratituding, and then I forgot the fourth thing that I said again. I am so, like, I'm totally going to bed after this. Um, but basically, having an affirmation, you guys, is going to allow you to lean into that word or that statement. Like, this is my go-to lately all the time. I think, I don't know if it's backwards there, but it says, you are exactly where you were supposed to be. So if I'm having, like, a meltdown in the kitchen, on the rug, in the fetal position, <laughs> I tell myself I'm still exactly where I'm supposed to be and everything is happening for my highest good and I'm going to be okay. And even just saying it now, my heart is like, oh. it makes you feel lighter. Okay. So find an affirmation, find a mantra, get a deck of my affirmation cards, get a deck of another affirmation cards that you like, do something 
that's going to allow you to choose love with that statement. She talks about in the universe has your back to have a faith statement and um, a faith. I don't know if I had enunciated that enough, a faith statement, but basically that's going to allow you to surrender and trust um, into the universe, like to trust whatever your belief system is. How are you going to learn to lean into that love inside of the universe and inside of you that you're going to be okay? Um, showing up, gratituding, being grateful for where you are is going to get you to where you want to be. Being grateful for what you have right now, giving them love for what you have right now is going to get you to where you want to be. Um, doing that personal development, you guys, doing these affirmations, you're going to be practicing to retrain your brain. Um, having that vision board is going to allow you to retrain your brain to get excited and to dream bigger when you see those images of whatever your vision is, right? So for me, like, I have had the same vision board since I moved here, but it's really cool because now I'm living here and this loft was like on my vision board. So I was like, oh no, I'm not going to update it. <sighs> Lord, I'll tell you when I updated it and I look at it, it's, it's the, um, the desktop of my computer, by the way. So if you're like, I don't want to cut out paper and do this, it's like, stop it. Take an hour, do it in like Canva or whatever, like pick monkey and put it as the desktop of your screen or as your phone or whatever. Because when you see those images, holy man, your brain is going to light up because you know, oh my God, yes. So your brain is going to light up when you see your dreams, your vision, your everything that you want. Your brain is going to get excited, and that's going to evoke emotion, and you're going to feel it. And guess what? When you feel something you like and dream and goal for, obviously you effing love it, right? Nobody's going to have anything on their vision board that they don't want. Like, ah, I don't want that. I'm going to put that on my vision board. No. You want your dreams on your vision board, and man, that should Excite the F out of you guys. And I know for me, it does. It makes me feel emotional. And so I get grateful for the fact that I know I'm going to make my dreams come true. And I feel my feelings. And guess what? Those feels of those dreams are love. And guess what? I'm going to be putting all that love back out into the universe. And I want to like just share some crazy instances with you guys. Um, because I think it's really important that when you start practicing this, like when you start practicing this stuff and practice it every single effing day, you guys like things will manifest. And if you're like that person going Janelle, but you're like back, like at Emerald, does that like manifesting like your dreams? Like, is that where you want to be? And it's like, no, that's not where I want to be, but it's like, I'm flipping my perspective. I'm stepping back and seeing this as a positive and being grateful for where the F I am because it's allowed me to be the best me I can be to build a badass effing team to go from where I am to where I'm gonna be on that dream vision board. So it's like, know that this isn't gonna be an overnight thing, you guys. You can't just make a vision board and be like, boom, here it is. And it's like, no. Same thing with your mindset. Same thing with your heart. You got to work on it. And this isn't just like a daily thing. This is an every single effing second thing. Because every single second you're awake, you're thinking. Think about it. Every single second you're awake, your brain is doing something. You're in the shower, you're driving, you're doing this, you're doing that. So what are you thinking? Because it's going to be creating your reality. So for me, looking at my vision board is going to allow me to create that reality. And on my vision board, if you guys like don't know me, I'm like a wicked, hopeless romantic. And all of my lessons this year have been brought to me by beautiful men that have many qualities on my list and an opportunity. Again, there's that choice. There's that the universe presenting that to you to choose something positive. 
more joy, hopeful, or to stay stuck, settling, stagnant. And so the crazy thing is, is that I've been putting out there that I'm ready for my human being, okay? I'm, I have so much love to give. I'm ready for my person. I'm putting it out there to the universe. And typically, all, <laughs> all of the human beings that have come into my world this year, um, I, I'm just going to like show you all like the relativity to this because, again, what you put out there, you get back, you guys. So not that I've put out there that my human being is in uniform, but all of the people that I've met and dated this year that have been my lessons, my hardest learning lessons of my entire life, you guys, like decades worth of lessons building up of settling for that old life or wanting more and going for more. All of these lessons have come to me in beautiful men. They've all got brown hair, either brown or blue eyes, are in great physical shape. They all have amazing jobs, have really good qualities and characteristics. And as these human beings progress, I learn more about what I want, what I don't want, what I'll settle for, and what I'm putting out there to learn whatever that last lesson was. And I will tell you guys, it is real freaky when, because that's literally like who my vision board is. Like I could turn my screen around and you will see that exact guy that I just described on my vision board. Like he's right there. And so every time that you guys are looking at that vision board, feeling those feels, leaning into that love and getting excited for what you're working on with you and doing you, you're putting that love out there. You're leaning into that love. And again, it's your choice to continue to lean into that love with your personal development, with your workouts, with this team, with this opportunity. And again, I want you guys to realize that even if shit happens, like, for example, if somebody passes away, like, that's really challenging to continue to show up on social media. And I fully effing understand that. And what you do at that point is you be human. That's not like me like posting for a coaching sneak peek while I'm going through this heartache. That's me being real and putting out there what I'm feeling, that pain point, and how I'm leaning into love and choosing love through the things that I've learned with this beach body opportunity by starting a 30 minute workout again, because I wouldn't be doing this head and this heart work and this love and surrendering and learning to let go and see things as lessons instead of the end of the world. If I never started lacing up for 25 minutes a day, because I chose to want more. Health, happiness, wealth, abundance, joy, hope, love, instead of that settling, stuck, stagnant, bullshit story that I've been replaying over and over and over again in my head. And that's what I want you guys to like take away from this call is that you have a choice every single effing second to lean into love. Every single human being that comes at you, if you're in traffic and somebody cuts you off, this is my biggest one that I'm really working on, especially being a mass hole and having no patience for anybody down here driving. Every time somebody cuts me off or doesn't use their blinker or <laughs> doesn't go the speed limit, I have the opportunity to respond in a loving manner or to react in a probably inappropriate, mean manner, okay? So... Same thing at work. Your boss is pissing you off. Your alarm doesn't go off. Like some days you just wake up. Like Kelsey had one of those days like last week or something. Like she had like a hot mess of a day. And it's like, could she have chose to let that ruin the day? Like, or did she do the things that she knew how to do? Feel her feelings and lean into those workouts, the accountability, the shakeology and make the day the best that it could be. Because I know for me, when I would have a bad moment, I would let it turn into a day, a day into a week, a week into a month, a month into five years of my life. Like, that's how it all starts, you guys. Because you continue to choose to stay in that ickiness instead of choosing that love. 
So find that affirmation, find that mantra. I think that's like really important. Like, um, those are like the four things that I think you guys should really like take away from this. Like find that affirmation to lean into that love. You need to have some type of affirmation. I am enough. I am a badass mofo. Like, I am strong. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. What's going to fill you up and get you so effing jacked and bring you back to reality when you are in the fetal position on the floor and you do have snots running down your face? Because it's going to happen. How are you going to handle it? So you're going to lean in with your affirmations. You're going to lean in with gratitude. How can you be grateful in this instant? How can I be grateful that this human being ripped my heart out a month ago? God, I'm so grateful because I'm so glad that this person showed me their true colors. How am I flipping my perspective to be grateful for the situation? I'm grateful that I have the knowledge and the power with Beachbody to know how to take care of me and not let this heartache win. So gratitude, affirmations, your vision board. Do you guys have a vision board? Are you feeling the feelings of how you want to feel right now? I think that's really important too because so many people are like, I'll be happy when I hit the rank. I'll be happy when I get this. I'll be happy. And it's like, no, be and feel happy right now. And if you're like, but how? Like with a vision board, with affirmations, with gratitude, with practice. Because when you're leaning into the things that make you feel good, you guys, it's going to get you to where you want to be and feeling where you want to be feeling. And it's our job, again, remember, to present the opportunity that if people are feeling a certain way, they don't have to stay feeling that certain way. And here's their choice. And this is what Beachbody can do for them. And then what was the fourth thing that I said again? Oh, my God, I missed it. It was affirmations, gratituding, vision board. I don't remember. But let me check my notes. I think that's like everything that I have. Um, oh, I have here in capital letters. Be grateful, be consistent. Oh, PD, yes, thank you for saying that. PD, that was the fourth one. So affirmations, PD, vision boarding. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? What? <laughs> what? You guys, thank you. Thank you. you. You got it. The four of them. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm out of it at this point. But those are how you're going to lean into love, you guys. Gratitude, affirmations, vision boarding, PD. I did it. I got all four. <laughs> so that's how you choose love. Every single instant. One of those is going to be the way that love is going to light up your life. Because our job is to love as much as possible because if we're not loving ourselves, if we're not taking care of ourselves, how are we going to be the best coach, mother, wife, daughter, human being we can be for this planet? Because honestly, you guys, love is going to be the future. Like, it's our job to take care of this planet and be an example for the small humans and for the next generation that are going to be taking care of everything with this oh gross that stupid kid just text me like stop see now how am I going to choose to respond to this situation <laughs> um so lean into that love choose love as much as possible and it's going to be practice you guys like this is not going to be an overnight thing like please don't beat yourself up on this if like you don't get it right away. Like I said, I've been practicing a year and a half and you're going to have those moments that you're not going to choose love. You're going to be angry. You're going to be sad. That fear, that doubt, it's going to win. But guess what? You have the tools to not stay stuck in it. And that's like, you have the choice. We have the choice every single second. And you guys, our job is to let people know that they have that choice and you have the tools to make that choice easier. When the pain is there, when the hurt is there, you have an opportunity. Here it is and how are you going to present it with your story? That's what I got. I'm sweating. <laughs> that was awesome. That was fantastic. I'm really excited to see how you handle the situation. That was a oh, my God, so am I. <laughs> 
Um, but honestly, I got, I mean, I, I always get so much of what you have to say because I mean, it's like, it's funny that you, this came up is because I feel like so oftentimes it, that people are so scared to share the bad because they feel like that's going to make them look weak. And I just want you guys to know it's like, and this is something that it's funny that you say this is like, I went through this two nights ago where I posted something that was literally weighing on my heart for nine months. <laughs> and I did not want to post that. And it was funny because one of the coaches on our team messaged me and she was just like, I've noticed that you haven't been posting about religion lately. And it was because I was feeling, you know, I was going through this rough period and I was like, what's going on with me? Why am I going through this? And all this different stuff. I'm real. Like I had no idea what I was doing. You guys will probably have all seen my post, but like, I was so scared guys to put that out there, not out of fear of judgment, but more out of fear of showing that weakness that I was feeling because people come to me and it's funny, people come to us for inspiration and we, we hold that heavy on our, on our shoulders. We're like, they're coming to my page because they need me to inspire them today. They need to see that things are going great. But like you said, you know, I think the most important thing that I took away is that like, you are real with these people. You're like, look, I'm going, I'm going through something right now. And those people relate to that more than they're going to relate to things are great. My, my roses are blooming and you know, my shit doesn't smell like life is good. And like, it's not true. I cannot tell you guys what my inbox did once that post went up. People literally went, I, my, I mean, I was in tears. I sat down, I read every single message that I got. People were so sweet to me and saying like, Hey, like I had like 20 people send me church recommendations in Charlotte. Like I had an unbelievable amount of support and those were not sales. I didn't look at those people as, okay, maybe she'll be a chat by a challenge pack for me in the future. But I was like, man, I, half of these people were saying, thank you for saying that because I've been dealing with something similar. And half of them were saying, Hey, I want to help you. People want to help you, you know? And like, I think that's the thing is like, it's okay to share those weaknesses. So you, if you guys don't follow Janelle on social media, please do, because she does a great job of that. Um, I think there's a fine difference between bitching and moaning on social media and telling you like, here's what I'm going through and here's how I'm going to fix it. And I think that you do a really great job of that. So this was, I mean, amazing. And I just love your realness. I love how you're like, if you ain't where you want to be, just show the hell, just do something different because I literally tell them that all the time. Um, but I just, I love it. You gotta, you gotta keep going when things get hard. And I, I hope you guys all know that there's a lot of successful coaches in this company and you might look at people like, you know, me, Haley, Melanie Mitro, you know, uh, Liz Hartke, and you might think to yourself, man, they don't have anything going on. Like their life is perfect. They are all going through their own shit right now. Everybody has stuff, but they keep coming. They do what they have to do. They force themselves through their fears. And I just loved how you said the difference between success and failure is successful people still show up. I think that was my biggest takeaway. And I actually wrote it down. I'm going to put it on a sticky note on my computer. Yeah. I love that one. <laughs> Successful people show up, you know, we all have stuff going on and our team, our team, I know for a fact that I do one-on-one -on -one calls every week. I know these girls do too. It's just, we gotta, we gotta keep showing up. You know, we got, we have to. And there's, I love how you said that you just find a lesson in everything. It's, it's important. So your homework assignments um, from Janelle. If anybody's any questions really quick, but your homework assignments is come up with your affirmation. Uh, work on your vision board. I got to take one of the things off of my vision board today and I have a complete revamp to do with mine. So I'm excited to do that. And we were, I was actually considered doing like a, just a vision board call, you know, like not it being a call, but just in the middle of the week getting on a Zoom and everybody just like has fun with it. So your affirmation, your vision, um, starting a gratitude journal, y'all. If you don't do that, just write down what you're grateful for, whether it's by your bed in the morning or at night, like thank God or, you know, the universe, whatever you believe, like write down what you're great, we're grateful for every day. Um, and then my challenge to you above what she gave you a challenge to is carry a little notebook with you throughout the rest of this week. And every time you feel your mind go there, I want you to write down how you reacted or how you think you, and or how you change your perspective on it. So whether you got cut off in traffic, I want you to write down, got cut off in traffic, 
decided to smile and sing a song instead of flicking the guy off, right? Like something like that. Or uh, got in a fight with husband, could have argued, could have said, had the last word, but decided to keep my mouth shut, you know, whatever that might be. So think about that stuff. And I'm going to do the same things. I'm, I want to, I want to kind of watch my mindset and see where it's going. And we'll see where we do things wrong or we do things right and where we need to work on. So anybody have anything else you want to add or do you want anything you want to add? For you? I don't think I have anything to add. Oh my God. This was your first call. Well, that's great. Yeah, this is Brandy Welcome. Coach. Welcome to your first call, Mindy. Jeez, I was like, I hope I don't scare anybody away. I else I asked Kelsey, and I was like, is this like OGs or like newbies? Like, should I like? <laughs> I just wasn't. I wasn't sure if I was like gonna be too much for people, but well, I just yeah. were super real. Um, and I think um, what Kelsey said is important that like people are too afraid to share like the hard stuff. Um, but it's like, don't be afraid to share that just share how you're getting through it. Like, don't just be like Kelsey said, like, don't just like bitch and moan and like dump on social media. Cause like, that's what most people think social media is, right? Like people are like, Oh, like social media is so negative and it's bitching and moaning and this and that. But it's like, when you bring the light and love to the dark and the hard, like that's when people get inspired. Like Kelsey said, I, my inbox, same thing. You share something that people relate to that is deep and emotional and vulnerable and real and raw, you're like, that's when people are going to be like, holy F, like, that's when people are going to connect with you. It's not when you're sharing about your, you know, your Shakeology or your challenge group. Nobody's going to go, oh, yeah, I could totally relate to that. Like, no, people are going to relate to like the real life stuff. And that's not to say that life is always hard and challenging. You guys like share the beautiful stuff too. Like Kelsey said, like celebrate. If you get a win, celebrate whatever the win is. Um, say it, be grateful. You know, like today I was like, I got all green lights this morning. I was like, thank you universe. Like, yes, I just gave love with that. I celebrated. If you make a bomb shake, celebrate it because any opportunity again, you guys to give that love and put that light out there, the universe is going to go, yas, 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 yas. And like, it's going to come back to you. It may not be the next day, but it's going to come back to you. And you just have to trust and believe that. So just keep practicing. Thank you. Seriously, this is amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, guys. Well, you actually have Janelle's coach, Craig, next week. Craig's going to be talking to you. So, and Craig lost over 100 pounds. <laughs> so you guys are I'm so excited yeah he's gonna I'm excited to hear him too so wait till you guys see this transformation and what this guy's been through I mean it's just amazing so I would definitely definitely make sure you're gonna be on there next week thank you Janelle so much I know that everybody appreciates it so we love you and we will talk to you soon thanks so much bye guys have a good rest of your week